OnePlus has discontinued its invite system on both OnePlus 3 and 3T. There is not much difference between OnePlus 3 and 3T. 3T is just a refreshed version of 3 with some incremental upgrades. Many smartphone companies have started to release their flagship phones in 2017. Smartphones like G6 and Huawei P10 are one among the new releases, whereas Samsung has come up with its game-changing unit Galaxy S8. There are many more phones which are expected to come up in few weeks, so is OnePlus 3T still a better choice after several months of its launch? Let's have a look at it in this review. In terms of design, Samsung has decided to go with Gorilla Glass 5 on both sides of the panel. Even G6 has been built with glossy finish on both sides. When it comes to 3T, it is designed with metal aluminium body. The design is very much similar to HTC M9. On the left side of the phone, you'll have the alert slider button and the volume rockers. Dual SIM tray and the power button has been moved to the right side of the phone. The bottom firing speakers gives you a decent amount of sound quality. 3T comes with old-fashioned 3.5mm headphone jack which is not done in some phones like iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. I personally like metal design, it gives sturdy build to the phone and would be a better option when it comes to protection. It might be slippery but you can have a case or skin to protect it. 3T is available in both gunmetal and soft gold versions. It is also available in a stunning new midnight black edition. Those who have small hands like me would face a difficulty in handling a phablet, but the rounded edges really make this smartphone to be comfortable in hand. You may even switch the physical buttons to the screen for better handling. Both S8 and 3T has been featured with Super AMOLED displays. When comparing both, obviously S8 is going to be a winner here. It comes with more rich colors and has high resolution screen. The resolutions can be changed in S8 to save battery life. OnePlus 3T doesn't come with Quad HD displays like one in G6 and S8, but a Full HD screen is still sharp and produces more vivid colors even under direct sunlight. It will never disappoint you while watching movies and playing games. 3D might not give you a great performance with VR headsets when comparing with S8. The resolution in G6 and S8 is way higher than in 3T, but that won't be a great issue when you compare it with overall performance. The alert slider is one good feature available in 3T. It will be on ring mode when it is down, and when it is in middle, it allows you to set various profiles for priority notifications. When it is on top, the phone becomes completely silent. 3T offers you a lot of customization options. In display settings, you can even change the theme to dark mode. The blacks on dark mode looks really good in AMOLED display. You can even change the accent colors in display settings. Personally, I like green color in dark mode, which makes the screen looks even more attractive. Oxygen OS allows you to activate gestures like double tap to wake up the screen. Drawing on the screen will open the camera and we will turn on the flashlight with your OnePlus 3T. SoC 835 is the new chipset released by Snapdragon in 2017. The US version of S8 has been powered with this new chipset. But in some regions, S8 is going to come with Samsung Exynos processor. LG has decided to go with older Snapdragon 821 chipset in G6. When comparing both 3T and G6, there is no difference in terms of processor. But 3T has more RAM and more internal storage than G6. There is no expandable storage available in 3T. The internal storage will be more than enough to store your media files. When comparing 3T with other new smartphones, it is going to be more or less equal in terms of performance. Large 6 gigs of RAM is a secret behind the success of OnePlus 3T. I think this is enough for 3T to compete with new smartphones in 2017. 3T cost almost half the price of Google Pixel and Pixel XL. You can get almost every features available in smartphones that are $200 to $300 more expensive. I absolutely love 3T for its cost effectiveness and quality of its build. OnePlus always receives a huge welcome from mid-range smartphone users. This is yet another advantage for OnePlus 3T to be compared in 2017. So no one can hate this mid-range smartphone that doesn't compromise for anything. G6 has dual cameras like in iPhone 7 Plus. But there is no portrait mode available. The optic image stabilization is very good in S8. G6 is designed with 13 megapixel rear shooter. It also allows you to change the camera to 120 degree wide angle lens. The front shooter is 5 megapixel. This can even be changed to wide angle lens. Camera from G6 has a new feature called Square Camera. There are lots of modes available in it. This takes square shots and has been mainly designed for Instagram users. When comparing with these two smartphones, 3T doesn't have a better camera. Both front and rear cameras are 16 megapixels. Camera in 3T also has manual controls to take photos. Low light photos are not so good like one in Pixel XL and S7 Edge. The average low light shots from camera stops OnePlus 3T lags behind from those high priced smartphones. I have attached a sample low light video taken from my OnePlus 3T. 
It sometimes take good low light shots and sometimes not. If you are a person who doesn't use smartphone cameras, this might not be an issue for you. The new update has reduced the shakiness while taking 4K videos at 30 frames per second. Oxygen OS has been mainly targeted for average users. There is no bloatware in software, so the Oxygen OS is very much stable and also pretty much same as stock Android. Lightweight OS and UA makes the apps open faster in 3D. OnePlus 3D came with Marshmallow out of the box. So far, OnePlus has released more than 6 to 7 updates for both OnePlus 3 and 3D. OnePlus has promised to listen to users' problem and rectify it in their new updates. If you wanted to get constant updates, I would strongly recommend OnePlus 3T as your new smartphone in 2017. Both 3 and 3T currently runs with Android 7.1.1. Many phones still didn't get their latest Nougat updates. Features like multitasking in same screen and replay from notification bar has been added to this new update. Samsung has newly added its voice assistant Bixby in their new device S8. Whereas 3T has Google Assistant as its voice assistant like in Google devices. 3T is powered with 3400 mAh non-removable battery. This time, LG and Samsung opted to go with non-removable batteries in their new devices. 3T has more powerful battery than G6 and S8. All these devices can last for a day without any problem. The 3D's best feature is dash charging. It charges phone from 0 to 60 in just 30 minutes. This is one of the best fast charging phones I've ever seen. 3D is designed with a metal body, so wireless charging is not possible through metals. Both S8 and G6 has been designed with glass bag, so both of these devices can get wireless charging and also they are waterproof. OnePlus might add these new features in their next phone, OnePlus 5. OnePlus 3 and 3T has been facing a touch latency issues. OnePlus has promised to solve this problem in their future updates. S8 and G6 are the new hype phones that came so far in this year. This is the reason why I compared OnePlus 3T with these new smartphones. The 6GB of RAM and A21 Snapdragon really helps 3T to be a powerful competitor even in 2017. On the other hand, OnePlus 3T is way more cheaper than other smartphones like Pixel XL, G6 and even S8. There might be a couple of disadvantages like average low light camera shots and low resolution screen. If you are a person looking for a mid range high power smartphone without spending extra $200 to $300 for a better screen and camera, get OnePlus 3T in 2017. The 3T is really a worthy product and it's never going to disappoint you. Without considering some of these issues, if you wanted to get constant updates and fast charging phone, then OnePlus 3T might be a better option to go with. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, please hit the like button. And this is my first review video on my channel. If anything has to be improved, please give your comment on the section below. Your comments might be helpful to improve the quality of my channel. So subscribe to my channel for more videos.